Hello everyone, this is just me, and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to extract legacy.bin files. Now, before you do anything that's related to this, you need, you need two softwares. First one is this, Power ISO, and you need GW Tool, except the GMAT. It, it's just there, ignore it. So first off, the, do the download links of those two softwares would be on the description. Download it. So, so the next time you won't be a uh, you know, future uses, you will be applying this method for your everyday add-on downloading. So then, so let's say you download a specific add-on and you got this add-on with just weird numbers in it. So what do you do? Uh, select the the ones that you want to install. I'm just selecting this. Yes, for example. Now press right click. Just uh, extract here. Press extract here, and you will see uh, just loading it. You will see a legacy dot bin file. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong file. So you have the file like this, named as legacy. If you don't have, you don't have a power ISO. It's, it would name as dot bin but since this is legacy uh, the thing you need to do is just right click and go find the power ISO if you download it press extract here and ignore all of this uh, I'm just gonna wait for it to uh, 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 you know move itself let's go so just uh, wait for this to extract and, uh, don't do anything just wait for it then you got this unknown error that says on the error file. Press press ignore all, and you'll have extraction finished. And just close all the tabs and close this tab. Now you will have the file name as uh, underline legacy. But wait, it's still legacy. But hold on, it's not named as power ISO file. It's not recognized. It just it just says file. So what do I do with this? Now, go on and I rename this as so again dot gma dot gma. Don't forget this and press enter. Now you have this file. Uh, just open up GW tool and wait for it to open. So there we go. You have this. Now drag as extracted here. Just drag you know the renamed file right here, and just wait for it to uh, wheel a little bit because it's a it's a big file. It's two hundred MB, and uh, there you go. You will have the file name like this. So you just have the uh, the add on and all its files. So next thing to do is just copy this. Right click and find a copy. And go go to very smart lunch if you have one so just press on open file location so once you open file location it leads to this this folder right here so so yeah it's all containing all the uh, add-ons related to gmod so let's press on find a folder called gary smart all not uh, capital letters under the config folder. and find a folder name add-ons once you have it this one, press right click and just paste. There you go. This is now the uh it's now your add-on. Just wait for it to load. And there we go. There's the add-on. Now if you're learning something in uh something important right here, uh do not forget to leave a like on this video. Share this to your fellow G Gary's mod crack players who don't know how to solve an issue with these kind of uh, dot legacy bin files. And uh, if you're very kind enough, please subscribe to this channel and leave a like and share and comment and ask me anything if you have any problems related to this video. So hope you all enjoyed uh, and learned something new about this. So hopefully this will solve 
uh, the issue of legacy that bid files when you when you when, you're, when you download a specific add-on on Steam Workshop downloader without the uh, I/O. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. And this is just me. And I'll see you in the next video. And also the the add-on we demonstrated also in the next video. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.